Hello there YouTube, Just James here and guess what, we'll bring you back another game news episode with Charlie and James. Hello there guys. Uh, so I really apologise for the lack of content from me and Charlie. Yeah, Yeah, really sorry about it guys. We can both agree on that, but um, we've had a lot of problems basically with GCC, schoolwork, etc, you know. Well, last week, uh, about two weeks ago guys, me and James had uh, two math GCSEs. So we did a lot of revision through that week, and uh, we've only just come out and finished the month with James, really. And now we're hitting on to another English GCSE, but by the end of the week, the upload should be more fluent, shouldn't they, James? Hopefully, anyway. Uh, yeah, well, we had two math GCSEs, and I also had um, a science and, and a, history. a history at the same day. So, you know, you can understand the stress that I've been through because I've been revising a hell of a lot. And so have you, Charlie, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, 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 I'm fed up of school. I just absolutely hate it at the moment. And I think James will agree. Uh, it's just not as fun as it used to be, you know, when you could mess about. But now you're not allowed to. But still, you know, sometimes we do mess about. So uh, anyway, James, let's get on to gaming news. So uh, you start, mate. Um, now, we're not going to go over E3 because it's been a long time ago now. And I'm sure you've seen lots of videos, you know, out there that have a lot of E3 information. But... The bit of news I've got is that DreamWorks Studios have acquired the rights for Need for Speed to create a new film. So basically, um, it'll be some sort of car-like film, won't it, Charlie? Yeah. And um, I'm really looking forward to see what will happen. I mean, it hasn't been fully confirmed yet, but, you know... Well, if the, the, it, it, I think it has been fully confirmed, and the rights are uh, DreamWorks now, but... Usually, you don't know the name of the film or anything. Usually game... You know. Films are a big flop to me. I think, and um, there's been several gaming films which, uh, which from, from games which turn into films which have been absolutely disastrous. And um, just trying to think of a film that to a game that turned into a film. I'm um, trying to think. I think what some of the Tomb Raiders were quite shit, if I can recall. It normally, though. Films get turned into games, which they turn out to be absolutely terrible. I know yeah, I've got but, Avatar the game. That's that's but crap. DreamWorks, coming from the big company it is, I reckon they could pull some it off. Whether Need for Speed's going to be a cartoony game, um, uh, sorry, not cartoony game, cartoony movie, we don't know. But um, yeah, wonder what sort of themes or plot line it's going to go under. You guys tell us what do you think about games using um, going into movies what do you think do you reckon it's a big flop or do you think it's a good idea please tell us in the comments so, um, so what news have you got charlie um i'll move on to my xbox news first um xbox have because they've reached more than fifty thousand no it can't be fifty thousand it'll be more than that but xbox um someone on twitter has leaked out some information about how achievements on Xbox are going to be linking to rewards. Now, what this could mean is Microsoft points or your uh, free indie games or whatever. But, uh, you know, that is a really, really good idea. Um, there has been something previous before, and I think that was... Um, you had to link your another email up with um, Microsoft during another specific time. And what they would do is um, you had to keep doing this um, survey and you kept getting um, Microsoft points because I remember my friend doing it but I never did it and he only got about 120 Microsoft points for about seven surveys of his time every day it was and um, yeah so could that be Microsoft points or the indie games what would you say what would you prefer James um, well to be honest I don't I'm not really sure to be honest <laughs> in my opinion See, it says it says here um it's going to be now on the Xbox Live, there's going to be monthly surveys, like I said. Um, so whether that's going to be a bit annoying for uh, for the gamers, but if you do want your Microsoft points to buy your ultimate team packs or your indie games which are coming out, I know on um, Xbox Live Marketplace, I don't know whether this is a glitch or an error, but I see Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex for 800 Microsoft points for the full game, and I was thinking of getting that and starting like a, perhaps a new series on my channel or doing a bit of... Um, my new series, which I'm going to be doing um, after this week. But yeah, um, James, let's get on to your news. So, there's been a lot of gossip about Max Payne 3. People are saying that it didn't do half as good as L.A. Noir did at the same amount of time. Now, my opinion is that L.A. Noir, you know, is a whole new game, and people were interested to find out 
what it, you know what it was all about. But Max Payne, although you know I've played a bit of the third one myself, I think that it's a fantastic game. But because it's the third of the series, people you know they look at that and they think, yeah, I can't bother. I mean, that's my opinion. But yeah, you know, what do you? What's your take on? Well, I, I've had I've had Ellie in a while and I've got um, Max Payne three and. I absolutely love Max Payne 3. I think the whole cinematic way of it, how the, how it's all, it seems all, to, it fits together like a puzzle. It's like a, it's like a, a short film basically, and it's absolutely fantastic. The online player, uh, the online multiplayer, sorry, is just like Uncharted for the PS3. Um, I'm not sure whether they were copying it, but um, it's like if you play Red Dead Redemption online, it's very, very similar. And I think GTA and um, the new GTA is going to have the same engine for the online. And I think that is a really, really good point um, to have. So I heard that on another place or another YouTuber about it. But yeah, um, Ellie Noir and Maxim Free, as you said, are two completely different games. Um, Ellie Noir has the elements to um, what's it called, Heavy Rain on the PS3. Now yeah. um, I have, I've had that. James, you haven't had that, have you? No, I haven't played it yet. But I, I played Heavy Rain and um, I absolutely messed up my ending. All my characters died and I didn't do it right. But I absolutely love the game. I was It's just an amazing game. I would get it back, but my PS3 is absolutely screwed at the moment. I don't know what is happening with it. But yeah, um, Max Payne 3, as I said, it's very cinematic, good graphics. But um, I did mention in my pickups video that I kept freezing and I haven't been on it since. But yeah, it's a really, really good game. So I would say that they're both equally on par if not Ellie Noir seemed a bit repetitive to me um even though I really really enjoyed it I thought that it was the same it seemed like the same case over and over again and I just got you know it seemed very repetitive but Max Payne is different and it's out there but um I'm gonna go through Max Payne soon but at the moment I'm playing Fable 3. A lot of people also are saying Ellie Noir um it was kind of boring that's what I, I've heard from a lot of people that it did get a bit boring after yeah, a bit. Yeah, quite a short story I've heard as well. Because basically, um, you know, with the GTA and the Resident, no, Red Dead Redemption, yeah, you know, you, you kind of have the opportunity to go around the city and um, free roam, yeah, yeah, free roam. Whereas L.A. Noir didn't really give you the chance because you're constantly going to the missions, and mm -hmm. yeah, so I think, in my opinion, Max Payne was a lot better, but that's my opinion. Yeah. So. Onto some Sony PlayStation 3 news. Now, it was revealed on Monday that Sony will be releasing a new firmware update for the PS3 on Tuesday, June 26. Now, um, what I don't know what the um, update is going to bring, but you know, when was the last time PS3 had an update, James? Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. It was quite a while ago, though. I mean, I mean, like. When PS3 generally have an update, I don't really see any difference, so, you know, whether it actually yeah. has anything to bring, I'm not sure. Well, what I've read is there's a few bugs which need fixing, and um, I'm, I don't think it's a big major update, I think it's just, you know, your your updates that you have every so often, so it'll be a big... That's that's one thing which I dislike about the PS3, the, the downloads of the updates to take forever, and the bars... I just... <sighs> You know, one thing, right? That's Sorry one to interrupt, for. Charlie. Um, so. One thing I don't like. I mean, I'm a full PS3 gamer. I prefer PS3 over Xbox. One thing I would really dislike is the fact that you know the speed from going to menu to your game and then going to the PlayStation 3 menu. It's just it takes too much time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one thing they need to improve. I think the lack of RAM, to be honest, the PS3 is quite slow. So yeah. maybe PlayStation 4 if it had more RAM, it would definitely be a lot better. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, um that is the firmware update. So my final piece of news for the PlayStation 3 is that Sony have been, you know, releasing more and more content for the PSN store. Now I think this is mainly due to um you know the making of the PlayStation 4. I think the banging the content out, you know, just making, you know, as much money as they can before they release the PS4. And so some of these this week's titles include Alien Breed tri Trilogy, seventeen pound. Trilogy, trilogy. Trilogy. I I've never known how to say that word. <laughs> seventeen pound forty nine for that. Babel Rising, seven ninety nine. Bang Bang Racing, seven ninety nine. Bang Bang Racing. Ruined Factory Oceans, thirty nine ninety nine. Now, never heard of that game. That's a rip off. To be never honest. heard of any of them. Yeah, 
Star Drone 399, Two Worlds 2 Velvet Game of the Year Edition 1999. Two Worlds, good game. Football Generation PS2 99P, that's a steal. Ar- <laughs> Ark of the Lad 3, PS1 Classic 399, and Top Trump's NBA All Stars PlayStation 3 Minis 299. Now, that is a lot of content for one week, you know. Yeah, boy, sounds. Uh, you know, the content sounds pretty shite there, to be honest. And I've never heard of any of those games. Nah, I haven't either. I've heard you of. Know, I think I've heard of Star Drone. If that's if that's coming to the PlayStation better. Plus um, customers for the PS3, I'd be pretty annoyed with that. If that, that that's if it is, it might it might be just that E3 weekend where they said where they tried to get um, PlayStation Plus, so they can make as much money. Maybe that weekend where the people got Infamous 2 and that that was the only weekend where they're going to get decent games, perhaps. But you know. I'll say this now and then next week probably people will get a free copy of Skyrim. You don't know. They probably that that won't happen, but you know that's what probably could happen with my luck. Can't for you, innit? Honest, Charlie, being a PlayStation 3 fanboy, I have to say, what the hell is PlayStation Plus? What what were they thinking? You know, it doesn't make any sense why you'd want to join it. I All think what did... they're trying to do is get as much money as they can from you. And um, I've seen some. I was at one point gonna go for it, but then. That was when I was a PS3 gamer, and uh, but I didn't. And yeah, that the only decent drop it's had is the Infamous 2 straight um, one day after E3's conference for Play Sony. So you know, yeah. Um, are you done, James? Or should yeah, but on? one thing, right? The PlayStation Plus, you don't actually have the game. That's what I'm a bit annoyed about. You don't, you don't, you don't know, you don't get it at all. You basically, you have the game until you run out of PlayStation Plus membership. Now, that for me is just stupid because you pay no, money no, for I PS think, Plus. No, I think you do. No, I think once your membership's gone up, you still have the game. You keep it. Well, you know, it, we, we're going to have to ask the um. Yeah, the, I know. The Woodland viewers. 37's got it. Woodland, you tell us um whether. It does have the, say if your PlayStation Plus runs out, does it mean that you can have the game still or does that go with it? If, if so, if it does go, then that is terrible. So, on to some Nintendo news, guys. There will be a 3DS XL. Oh my god. That is just unbelievable. Shock horror. Shock horror. We all knew it was coming, but we just didn't know they would, you know, bring it out as like uh, a, year, uh, a year after. So yeah. soon they brought it out. Nintendo. Oh. What are you thinking? <laughs> and then another bit of bad news from Nintendo, and um, because people were not happy with the Wii U um, launch titles, I was talking to Woodland Thirty Seven on his video um, about the launch titles. All they saw was a Super Mario Bros. and a um, Pikmin Three. So, um, Reggie from Nintendo, um, because the gamers have said they're unhappy, Reggie has insulted the Nintendo gamers. What? And he's called them insustainable gamers who are impossible to please. That is... Now, you don't say that to your people who have been for Nintendo since the NES. Who are purchasing your products and yeah. new money? And to say that they can't, that they're, they're never ever happy with what they get, you can't say that. They're, they're releasing the shittiest games. Well, they're not, they're not shit, but it's just the same. You know what I mean? I played Mario only, before, and I guarantee it'll be the games. same. The only game that we saw was that Zombie U. And what was was it? Mass Effect. Yeah, Mass Effect, Mass Effect Three, and which Zombie. already came out. Yeah, I mean. The Nintendo Wii U, it's not going for the motion. They, they can scrap motion com, motion gaming now for w- Nintendo. Yeah. Well, what is it? It's it, they're trying to go for the hardcore, and I reckon it could be a flop on Nintendo's part. You know, it could it could balance out to be an amazing system, but uh, I haven't seen the console. I've seen it once, I think, on an image, but there's been it's all it's all they're all focusing on this new controller tablet. Do you not think? Yeah, in my opinion, I mean, I've heard we were talking about it in school, weren't we, today about yeah. the controller, how how it's going to be so, so expensive, you know, because it's going to have a screen on the controller. Now, go into a shop, you know, the PlayStation Three controller isn't the cheapest, you know, it's forty quid, uh, brand new. Now, imagine the Nintendo controller, Nintendo Wii U, 
um, brand new. That would be at least... It's going to be at least... It's going to be in the 100... Quid. Yeah, it's going to be in oh, over 100 quid. And like that... You know, for, that is a lot to ask. If you want to play with multiple people, you like how they're trying to um, advertise it. Yeah. People aren't just going to do it because they're not going to have the cash. They don't understand it. You see in these adverts that they do, oh, look, let's play Mario, two player, hey. You know, you're going to have two of them controllers, which are going to pop you about 200 quid. I know it's fun to play with others, but I just I don't see it. If they use something from the Nintendo Wii, then with the controllers, then that that's all right. But you're not going to have the same enjoyment as that person with the Wii U controller is going to have, are you? Not really, no. So it's a bit, you know. I'll see it when I believe it, and um, that's just what you can say at the moment. But you know, Nintendo, naughty, naughty. Sure, that's a four, right, chance. I like high five. All right then. So is that all your news summed up now? <clears throat> so yeah, that is all our news, isn't it? Really. Um, there's not been too much news in the at the moment. Um, to be honest, Jed, you say that we've actually nearly done. I think we've done 15 minutes now. 20 really? minutes. We've, we've definitely um, gone over 10 minutes. So. Well, me and James, hopefully, we want to start getting these more frequently. I know we say this all the time, but. I'm thinking we should do at least one a week. James, do you agree? Should I, we, I agree, but we need... Should we make a promise? We need to buy an intro. We need definitely need an introduction. If, yeah. someone, if someone can make us an introduction, we'd be so happy. I mean, we might even, you know, either give you a shout-out or maybe even just give you a bit of cash because yeah. we, well, we really want an intro. Yeah. Well, before we go, guys, I'm, I've just got one announcement to make for my channel. Sorry for doing this, James. Um, the giveaway, which I said I'd do, still happening. Um... Will be upload when I do my next video. I'll mention about I'm going to be doing a draw, and yeah, and then I'm going to be doing a hope. Do you reckon, James? I should do a video on um, what I'm going to be uploading on my channel because me and James are going to be f filming a few skits on for my channel. James is going to be like the cameraman. Yeah, I'm really ideas, looking forward to that. And you know, it could be funny, it could not, it could just go absolutely disastrous. Um, but. We will tell you before that is going to happen, um, but it's going to be like a little special. If I try and get 20 subscribers, but I'll make sure I put out a few videos by the end of the week. And um, what about you, James? Any? Um, to be honest, I have really high hopes for that, Charlie. Um, one thing I'd just like to add in: I'm actually selling my Atari 7800 system box complete. Uh, I'll leave a link for my eBay account, and hopefully you guys can check it out. And maybe if you want to purchase my Atari 7800, uh, yeah. go ahead, place a bid. Well. That is one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, I've been meaning to get a retro console. Now, James has got a GameCube. Now, technically, it doesn't feel like it, but the GameCube is a retro console now. Yeah, to me, I, I love the GameCube. I, I've been playing Mario, uh, Mario's it, Double Dash Kart. Yeah, yeah. Like that, and I've absolutely loved it. I might even put a gameplay. If you guys want to see a Mario Kart um, GameCube gameplay... Uh, comment below because I'm really happy to put one up. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was debating on whether to get the Nintendo 64 or to get the GameCube. Now, the GameCube I was debating to get to play um, Spyro. Um, there's some classic wrestling games which you know wrestling people don't really like, but I just love the games. Absolutely class. And um, just some of the old Nintendo games, but also the Nintendo 64. Because, in my opinion, that is a quite a retro console. It's not so retro, but it is retro. And um, just to play some of the games like, you know, Mario Kart and Super Mario Brothers. Um, was there Super Mario for the 64, James? Um, there was Super Mario for, I think, every single Nintendo console, Charlie. Yeah. Well, I was looking at SNES as well, but um, I wasn't sure on the price. And I looked at a Sega Mega Drive, and... Um, you know, Sega Mega Drive, what I'd have to do is um, get, like, a table in my room because I've got enough space and, uh, like, do a little retro corner, I think. But um, I would do a gaming, uh, what's it called? Game room tour if you want to see it. But my room is a bomb size. It looks like a nuke's just gone off in there. Jeez. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing that as well, but I'm not quite sure. If I get more subscribers, yeah. then I'll probably... I think once we get a few more subscribers and the videos start to upload regularly because I really do want to get these videos out so, um, is that about it, James? That's about it. We're dragging on now, aren't we, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, I apologise for that, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and check out Charlie's channel. When he reaches 20 subs, he'll do his uh, skits video with me, and yeah, we'll that'll be that really good. Again. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a and, um, great day. Sorry, James. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. 
sub to James. This guy is an absolute legend. Deserves so much more recognition than he does. And um, we give him a shout out in every video. And I'm just glad that we're doing this series because I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm sure some people are enjoying it. You know, we always get that again, that hater with the one dislike. Um, doesn't really affect us, but you know. Um, yeah. So thanks very oh, much for watching. Cheers, it. cheers, Jazz. Giving me a shout out on my own video. That's, I Pleasure, really appreciate mate. that. Pleasure. As um, always. Yeah, check out Charlie, check out me. Oh, um, oh I, keep, I keep doing this, but Play Expo. We'll do a separate video, but one thing, Play Expo, go. All right, then. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.